Do you see them or not? You can bet the next time you're at the beach, you are sharing that water with the sharks. That's for sure, but they might just be a little closer than you think. Four in your corners, Julia Salomon diving in and searching for those feared predators. And what she finds may actually surprise you in tonight's special report. On a Saturday morning, Captain John Brossard and I wake up with the sun. Captain John takes me on board Shark Chaser. Fishing's been a hobby he's chased for more than 25 years. First time I watched Jaws, I was obviously afraid to go in the water at, at night. <laughs> but from fear grew fascination. I'm going to throw a couple baits out and see what happens. John, now glued to the Gulf, spends his weekends in shark territory. And patience pays off. Look at that rod. A bull shark takes the bait. He's looking at you. That's a nice fish. I wasn't expecting this here, I'll tell you that. We hook a shark that's quite the fighter. <laughs> Don't worry, I got him. <laughs> Bull sharks tend to swim where we swim, shallow waters. We caught this one in just four feet of water off Marco Island. See the mudding? It's because it's so shallow here that he's hitting the bottom. Bulls take a top spot on the list of shark species known to attack. So what are the odds they will attack you? According to National Geographic, you're more likely to die from a lightning strike or alligator attack. At the next spot, with Kate Romano in sight, we catch a nurse shark. For the most part, they're harmless to humans, unless provoked. They're really a, like a big bottom feeder, like a big catfish. They stay around the bottom, just cruise around. While I'm impressed with our catches... Can you believe you brought that in? <laughs> <laughs> I gave him plenty of time to get away, though. Shark fishing at night earned John his bragging rights. This video shows a nine-foot lemon shark caught right from shore. That's right, the beach where you swim. Biggest one was actually right off the beach, but it was in the evening. Another fisherman wrestles with a hammerhead before releasing it. This video is taken at a Sanibel beach. Sharks are most active at night, and that's why swimmers are warned to stay out of the water during dawn, dusk, and night. Juvenile sharks in Fekahatchee Bay. Patrick O'Donnell, an environmental specialist with Rookery Bay Reserve, studies these predators, mainly the juvenile sharks in the estuaries. It's easier for them to target their prey when their prey can't see them. Just get it out behind the boat. Captain John says there's a thrill to catching what you can't see, and that keeps them hooked and headed for the horizon. You never know what you're going to get. Julie Salamone, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, so how can you avoid being attacked? That's what you all want to know now. Experts suggest avoid swimming after heavy rains. Sunny and clear days are best, they say, and don't wear brightly colored swimsuits or jewelry. For more tips, you can go to fox4now.com.